What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Creepers, and I'm here today with a video of Paladins. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the replay function that we have inside of the game itself. Now, I'm also going to put a, a keyboard on the screen so you guys can see the keys that I'm pressing. So you can also pay attention on the screen itself, not just hearing it, maybe not understanding it. And there is a couple of issues with the replay mode as it is right now. One of them being that you cannot replay any casual or competitive whatsoever without having somebody spectating it. It's weird. I tested it out and I can confirm it right now, literally right now. So the IDs for the games are here on the history. You go profile history. Okay. If not, usually by the end of the game on the scoreboard, there is the ID number on top left. And you can just go there and check it. Now, these are the numbers for every single match. And for example, this one right here, I cannot expect it. And, and this one right here, I cannot expect it either. Now, this one I can because I did on purpose had somebody in the back actually spectating it. So I could uh, actually see if it was... It was that it was actually causing the problem or not if i actually needed somebody spectating it and i confirmed that it, that yes it is that unfortunately some people have mentioned to me before that competitives usually do they don't need anybody to spectate but i did confirm it today i already tried to spectate get rank matches that i had on my list before they never work and they still don't work like for example this rank it right here that i did with nara I can go and the, the command that you need to know is replay space and then put the number that it's right here. In this case, is this number right here. So I'm going to put the number really quick 291504808. And when I press enter, this is the error that it will give to me. I will not be able to spectate it. Now, this one right here is different. I had somebody spectating it on purpose and I can actually get in. So I'm guessing the same thing will happen for competitive. If you want, to have a replay of a competitive match, you must have somebody spectating you. Now, the way that I did it was really simple. I own a second computer. That's where my wife usually plays. Um, I opened her account and put it her to spectate me. So, the, when you put a spectate somebody, the next match that pops up, as long as, of course, it's not a customer that has the spectating mode disabled, um, as long as you... You know, you can expect it to have match. As soon as he gets into the match, that person will then go into the spectating mode. In order to use the spectating mode is really easy. In case you don't know, it's just spectate and then put the name of the person in question. It doesn't really matter to put smaller big letters. As you can see here, it doesn't really matter. My name has all big letters, but I can just go like this and it will work. On this case scenario, it will now work to spectate myself as a, uh, it's obvious. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going into this match that I can spectate and I'm going to show you guys the keys all right so as of right now on screen it should pop up a little keyboard there we go and so this is going to be what I'm going to use so every time I, I touch a key you're going to be able to see this really quick I'm going to put the command so see that every time that I'm typing anything it will light up the the keys that I'm touching so 291 five two zero six four eight and when i press enter we're going to enter the spectating mode for this game because there was somebody spectating it now it looks like we're playing four versus four but this is actually a bug we're actually five versus five it was a normal match it was a normal game so after you get in uh all you need to do is start moving around with the keys and here on this specific time uh people are still loading in so they're not even going to move so you can go around and as you can see on the on that little keyboard over there i'm going to put the keyboard around here there we go and when i use the keys as you can see it's left right up and down okay so not up and down it's front and back i'm sorry to go front uh, up and down, you use the key, the Q, and the E, as you can see here. But here's the issue. I couldn't use this key right here to go up for some reason. So I found out that it was because I changed the keys on the key bindings myself for my own stuff. Like, for example, um, and here, I don't know why it's actually showing like this. Maybe it's because we're in spectating mode. But what I did is I resetted the bindings. It went back to normal. 
And now I'm just gonna, there we go. We're gonna put this slow so we don't let the match start off. So I can show you a couple things. And after you've been in match, you can move around. You can also spectate the players themselves. And I'll show you that, uh, guys that in just a couple seconds. But after I resetting the keys, then the Q and E were actually working. So this way I could go up and down and front, back, left, right. So we got that also these keys. That's not what I wanted to do. So if you're on the camera, as you see right there, and you want to get out of the camera, just move. Just move, and that's it. They can make this a lot more polished. Like if I went down, it will the camera would go directly down, but it's not going. So we're going to leave it to that. What I was trying to say is that you can do this. Go front, back, and turn the camera. You can turn the camera by going left and right. Okay? So we got that. Now, in order to spectate the, the players themselves, there are the keys on the right side, as you can see. You see these, you see around here where my mouse is, these keys are here on the number pad, the num pad on the right side. Um, these are the keys you're gonna have to use. You're gonna have, if you don't have a num pad because you're on the computer, it's kind of, on the laptop, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit harder, but it still works pretty well if you manage to find out how that works all right so you start off by zero it will put in one player one two three four all right we got five players already so now we're going to see the enemy team by pressing five six seven eight and nine and there we go so these are the players as you can see here i was number zero usually that's how it's going to be I am the number zero and in order I'm putting this slow on purpose just so I can talk while we're doing this now in order to put slow as you saw there is just press this key right here you see that pr that page down that's the one that slows just start pressing it down and it goes slow 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 in order to go faster and it's a different matter you go page up you start to go faster and faster and faster and then you go fat really really fast in order to go normal just press the home button just press the home button then pro every time that a person dies if you want it to actually to come back to that person you must press the key in this case since creepers or me it was number zero I have to press number zero every time he dies I think I died here pretty soon let me see really fast yeah I died here as you can see here it dropped the camera so I'm not spectating anymore I am pressing the key and only after I'm born is when it's actually going to do that so now I'm going to put this in slow mode again. We have that out. Another key that you could also want probably is the P. If you press the P, it will take, initially it will take the UI and then it will take the names. So as you can see here, you can see people like this. And if you go in camera mode, as you can see here, you can see everybody without the UI and their names. So press again, it will everything come back. Take away the UI, take away the names. Really easy. So we got that done. Now, for example, imagine that you want to come back to the beginning. I found that these keys over here are the ones that move around with this. As you can see up there on, on the time, it's pushing back. So probably it's that in order to go front and that will crash the game. So I'm going to... I'm going to talk to you guys in a couple seconds because that will crash your game for some goddamn reason. All right, so we're back. Um, as I was mentioning before, if you do press the, the little dot, for some reason, it will crash your game. You can go back by going with the... I don't know what it is. It's not the dot. It's the one to the left of the dot. Between, it's in between the M and the dot. I'm just trying to remember the name. I don't know. You probably are going to go on the comments like, it's this and that. Okay. It's a comma, I think. Coma? It's a comma? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You guys will you guys know what I mean. So we know that the P will take away UI names and then we'll go back. The dot will crash your game. If you wanna crash your game, just press the dot. Uh, <laughs> if you wanna go back in time, just press this one. It will go back in time as you can see here. Went back in time. Without actually playing. So it's not even moving. Oh there we go. It's going on slow mode. Damn. Okay, so if I press home. There we go. You just press home and it goes back to normal. Okay. So we got that. Now, one of the things you probably also want to see. I'm going to put this in fast mode. 
so we can go in game then i'm gonna go like this gonna put in really slow mode then i'm going to spectate myself and now one of the things you usually want to see is stuff like this this is really simple as you can see here on my on my keyboard i'm pressing the number one net worth i think these are the credits that you have owned do, uh, throughout the entire match because if you can see here i'm i have 418 i did spend 300 for the card rise but as at the same time i have the rest of their over there on you know ne next to my items of the shop uh being the the missing credits for that so i believe that's it if you want to see the number of credits that you have gotten during the entire match, not just what you spent or your and so on. This will tell you. So you got that. You press two. You'll see damage dealt. In this case, Barrack, for example, was one of the ones that did the most damage by this time. You press three. You go into damage shield. So if you you can shield uh, for the amount of the shields that you do, this is where it's actually going to pop up. Do. You, Notice that uh, both me and Barrick are on top and the rest of the teams are just, you know, they're on order because only me and the Barrick are the ones that have the chance to do that. I believe if you go for five, it should go objective time. As you can see here, Genos is more objective than anybody else. And usually the four is for healing. I forgot to mention that. So shields three, four, healing, five, objective time. Number two is damage dealt, and number one is all the credits that you have won during the entire match. You press zero, and it cleans it up. So, as of right now, you have everything pretty much that you need to know. Okay? This will allow you to get some pretty good shots, or just see if you did something wrong. Okay? There's, there is a couple of other things that I'm not entirely sure what they work for. For, like for example, I believe... I don't believe anything. I don't remember what the key was anyways. It was a key that actually, it's like it's locking the frames really, really slow. So it ends up, uh, it looks like it's taking a screenshot. I, I'm not, I honestly don't know. So I just left that out because it does not take, create a, a screenshot. And that's pretty much it. By the way, if you go on spectate mode, if you're actually spectating people, you can also, you know, you can also, um... You know slow down time but you cannot go forward too much in time actually it has a delay in order to prevent stream sniping so i don't i don't even think it's actually because of preventing a stream sniping it's just the question that in case you are trying to go like live 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 you're never gonna have that chance okay i believe if you go into okay since i pressed the p to take away the ui it will also take this ui out so i believe if you go here on on the right on the options and you do this okay so you see here i turned off the items of cassie and i can also have this where it no longer shows the icons of the characters okay did you notice that look at the names you see there it has nothing and if i turn this on they have icons on top of them so you can actually turn it off really easy I'll just turn that off and put the icons. Blue team search score. This is the only thing that I'm here not understanding pretty much. I honestly do not know what that is. If you guys know what that is, please tell me. And we can go here with the uh, losing team. Winning team. Because that's what happens. Is it, isn't it winning with two ends? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Done. So there you go. On the left side and on top. And the right side on top as well. Losing team and winning team. <laughs> okay. In order to return to lobby really easy, just press return to lobby and you will be returned to lobby. If this does not appear to you the option to return to lobby, all you need to do is just basically crash the game. Why the hell am I receiving this? Okay. Uh, thank you, game. Game should be a little bit broken at the moment. I do not understand why. But okay. So that's basically it for the replay. Now, since you actually made it till the end of the game, to the end of the video, I have here just an announcement to make. This month, I'm going to do 
a buttload of giveaways. As of right now, I'm doing a giveaway of a cyber chest for PC. And after this, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for uh, Cold Snap Furia. You can be from any platform. It's okay. Uh, and there was also going to be a giveaway for a battle pass, an entire battle pass for free. Okay. And then I also have some codes that Octane Pro was really, really kind to give it to me. Thank you so much for that, Octane, if you're seeing this. You can uh, basically get two times a code of 3 million XP for the Battle Pass and two Dream Hacks maps as well for any platform that you are. That's where I'm going to give it to you, and then I'll just give the scraps to somebody else. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As for spectating mode, I just have one little extra thing to tell you. I think that the, the keys on the right side, these keys that I'm pressing right now, as you can see there, I believe that for spectating mode, it's kind of not the same order. So I, that's one of the things that I noticed that when I was spectating, um, I was on the key number one on the computer of my wife. But while doing the replay, I was on number zero. For some reason, it's different. But again, really easy to use to move the camera. If you cannot go up and down, do reset your key binds. You can go fast forward with page down, page down, put it normal by home. Do use this to go basically backwards and this one to also to crash your game because that's what it does. You have the P to turn off the UI and the names and so on. Then you have a couple of options also on options. You can return to lobby. Uh, the number one, two, three, four, five, six up here will give you the shards that you want to know. You If you press the tab, it will still show you the scoreboard normally so you can then go and see the cards of people. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I helped you in any way and that will be it for today. I'll see you guys next time and until then, have a wonderful time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye and I'll see you next time.